Everyone, if you've been struggling with your golf game just like I have, then stay tuned to this video because we're going to make it better and we're going to do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to help you with your golf game from putter to wedges to irons right through to your driver. And guys, this is something that's going to be mega easy for you to change to improve your golf game. I also have some huge news about a new sponsor for the channel, guys, so stay tuned for that. But we are going to kick things off with the putter and a few golf balls. You see, now this is generally an area that I don't spend enough time. And by spend enough time, I mean, I don't spend any time. So what can I do and what can you do to help your putting when your game is going awry? Because generally, when something goes wrong in your golf game, it starts to go wrong throughout the bag. That's not been happening as often as we would have liked. And you see guys, when things do go wrong with golf, it's so important to go back to basics. Make sure you do the simple things right, because otherwise, if you start trying to do the advanced things right, you start trying to reinvent the wheel a little bit, you can really confuse yourself. So all I'm going to do, guys, I'm gonna go through my routine, make sure that the structure is there. From there, make sure that the ball position's right, all the basics are right, I'm holding the putter correctly, and I also stroke the putter and don't hit it. You see, I hit that one, I pulled it, and it's gone straight through the line. So a drill that I can do for this is generally go through the routine again, make sure that the ball is lined up where it needs to be, check the ball position's right, and this is a drill that my putting coach has given me, Chris Dennis, a one-handed stroke, and from there, make sure you release the putter and don't try and hit the ball. That's generally going to help you with your putting because it's so basic, it's so simple, and it works. It's going to help you with distance control, it's going to help you with club face control, it's going to help you hold more putts. Guys, I mentioned earlier that we have a new channel sponsor, which is quite exciting. You see, for me, when I practice, I love listening to music. I can't stay out here ages and ages and practice and not have any sound, not have any entertainment. So guys, this video is sponsored by the guys at Shox. Now, Shox are open ear headphones, and you might wonder what exactly that means. You see, when I practice, guys, as mentioned, I like to listen to a bit of music, but I also want to make sure that I do get the feedback from the practice. You see, when I'm putting, when I'm hitting golf balls, it's imperative that you can not only hear the Rod Stewart or the Stone Roses or whatever music you have on, maybe you're gonna have a podcast on there just to keep your mind at rest and you're not focusing too much, but also that you can feel the impact of the putts that you're hitting, of the drives that you're hitting and of the practice that you are doing. Because guys, we all know that when you are practicing golf, the feedback is in the feel, and we also know that feel comes from sound. So if I can hear the strike as well as hearing my tunes I'm listening to or the podcasts I'm listening to, I can also hear the strike of the driver, the irons, and the putter, then generally that's going to help me with my practice and also keep me quite entertained. The idea behind this is that you can be running and you can hear cars, you can hear traffic, you can hear anything around you. Now for me, I don't partner with many brands, but I definitely feel like this is something I can use when I'm practicing. They're mega comfortable, they weigh 26 grams and they are silicon coated for an ultra lightweight design. The open run brings all day comfort no matter what challenges you take on and you can move with freedom and confidence even during dynamic workouts such as aerobics, yoga or jumping. Um, I think I'll stick to using them for golf but for me they do just what I want them to do giving me that feedback. Oh that one stayed high as well. Guys make sure you check out the link in the description and in the pinned comment so you can check out the Shox open ear headphones for yourself. Right we've done putter let's look at wedges because this is a mega important part of playing well out there and again you see guys wedges are an area that people can struggle with massively but you don't have to overcomplicate it you don't have to think right let me get my six degree out my lob wedge and play some really difficult shots all i'm going to do when i'm practicing the short game stuff now is make sure that i have the ball position right I have my stance right, the weight right, and I'm gonna make sure that I rotate the body and keep that club face rotating wherever I want it to move to. You can see that allows me to get a nice strike. I can pop the ball up into the air, and then it's just a case of how hard do I want to hit it? How far do I want the ball to go? 
that wasn't quite as good a rotation i've dragged that one a little bit but it's amazing just by having the right ball position the right setup i can work on that strike and from there that's the one in oh from there i can build up a little bit of confidence with the wedges so that i'm not too worried if i do miss a few greens speaking of miss a few greens said to the range because we have been doing now guys if you have been struggling with your game then do me a favor get in the comments below and let me know what aspect of your game have you been struggling with mainly is it putter is it wedges is it iron play or is it the big dog guys stay tuned and have a mega driver tip coming for you towards the end of this video now unfortunately for people who don't really enjoy spending too much time practicing this is really the only way you're going to improve which yeah hurts i know but then maybe you enjoy hitting balls maybe you're a bit of a range rat if you are guys do you like listening to a bit of music like i do Oop. that should do us i think so the tips i'm giving you guys i would spend more time on just one maybe two per day the last thing you want to do is go and try and improve everything on the same day it's important to be specific it's important to give yourself some targets to hit um and today targets to hit all these without losing my mind so there's that also everybody i should probably premise this video with a little bit of a warning you see online tips like this can certainly help your golf game but there's nothing like getting a specific opinion from your local pga pro because they're generally going to have a much better eye for what is going wrong with your game and help you a lot quicker these are more generic although for me if i'm going to try and improve my game I'm certainly going to think back to lessons that I've had both recently and non-recently. So I had a lesson very recently with one of the world's best golf instructors, Peter Cowan. That's something I'm trying to work on, trying to get the hands working more opposed to each other, trying to set that club a lot better. Also trying to load the club into a better position with that left arm. Now, I also had a lesson a few years ago with Chris Ryan. You all know Chris. He has his own YouTube channel. He's a fantastic golf instructor. And whenever I'm striking the ball badly, I use this golden nugget that Chris gave me, and I'm going to give this to you now. So what I used to do very badly, and which I'm sure quite a few of you may do at home as well, is not load correctly into the backswing. So I don't get any right knee flex here, and I stay too squatted down, I actually lose height. When I strike the ball at my best, I make sure the weight transfers there, I make sure I set the club properly, and then my right hip turns more backwards or deeper almost so you can see there that you can actually see through my legs there that means that i've set the club properly it means i'm in a nicer position at the top but it also means i'm in the right position to release the club and get the strike that i want to that's exactly what i want and you'll see here that i'm trying to keep it as simple as possible i'm certainly not thinking of more than two maybe three at a push things but for me that's certainly going to help me think about getting that ball striking a little bit more autonomous and a little bit easier just like that why don't i spend more time out here on the practice range also it's important to make sure you keep your standard basics correct you're gripping the club correctly you're getting yourself into the right setup you're in the right posture you're not getting lazy over the ball you're not losing height at all and you've got a little bit of forward shaft lean with these irons so you can create a nice pressured shot if you stand at the ball incorrectly if you stand a little bit lazy if you don't have the forward shaft lean and if you're gripping it wrong what chance have you got there of making a good golf swing um generally not very much so if you're not doing the standard things right if you're not doing the basics right you're generally going to struggle from the get-go let's get all those things right forward shaft lean right grip right stance proper load up absolutely wonderful now irons are all good and well if you're missing greens you're going to be struggling but what about if you're missing fairways what about if you're struggling with the big dog and what about if you're not hitting it quite as far as you would like let's talk driver so please don't think that i'm repeating myself here for the sake of repeating myself because i promise you i'm not if you don't stand at a driver correctly if you don't pay the driver the respect it deserves you are going to miss fairways you're not going to hit it a very long way and you're going to be quite an unhappy golfer the driver is the longest golf club in your bag unless you use some strange putter it's also the lowest lofted club in your bag that you hit with a full swing and it's also the club that can do the most damage 
or give you the most amount of fun. So I'm gonna make sure that ball position is absolutely 100% correct. I'm gonna make sure that I've got the grip right. I'm gonna make sure that I take the club away nice and low to the ground. I did a video on this not too long ago, guys, and from there, I can set that driver into the right top of the backswing. The right knee's straightening just a little bit, as I mentioned in the iron swing, that doesn't differ too much. And the big golden nugget that I want to give you here, oh yes please. Sorry about that guys, that practice swing felt that good. I just had to have a go. But the big golden nugget that I want to give you here guys is when to set the driver on the way back. I want you to feel as though that driver is working its way away from you. So you can see that driver head is working towards the camera now, it's working towards you guys at home. And once I've done that, I can set the club, I can set my wrists, get the butt of the club pointing down towards the ground and load up nice and deep into that trail side. From there, I can spring off that side, I can get moving towards the target, I can get this driver moving towards the golf ball at the rate of knots, or if you mean around 110 miles an hour, making sure my sternum stays back, making sure I hit the ball on the up, and that's gonna give you the best launch factors to absolutely nail your driver. Guys, there are a few tips that you can take throughout the bag if you've been struggling with your game a little bit like I have. The big thing that I've found is taking ownership of little mistakes soon adds up and you soon start playing better golf. I've been lazy, I've not been practicing, I've been doing the simple things wrong, which for someone who's been playing golf for such a long time is not only frustrating, but it shows that it can happen to anyone. So guys, make sure you're doing the simple things right. Thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to the guys at Shocks for sponsoring this video. I'm now gonna go and practice, guys, and listen to, I think I'm gonna have a little bit of uh, Sir Rodney on. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button if you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Oh, where's that been? Yes.